For many years, we have kept our covenant with Lord Herman Ubis by guarding the secrets of King Deshret. And even in our darkest hour, when we could not see a way forward, we chose not to abandon hope, but to embark on a brave new experiment so that we might prevail. We earnestly sought Lord Hermanubis' wisdom and power, longing to see his spirit and his light descend upon us. Now, I will fight to become the rightful wielder of that power! I am Sino, General Mahamatra of the Academia, student and successor of Cyrus, the Sage of Spantamod. I fight in defense of my power, my professor, and my nation. And you, I think you left some things unsaid. This is a sacred duel, and Hermanubis is watching. So bear your soul. Everyone, old and young, fit and frail, they're all waiting to see how this duel will end. My grandfather is a wise leader. He is also known to be a ruler who is not afraid to get blood on his hands. I understand his beliefs well, and I know what he expects of me. But our faith has held us back for too long. After I grew up, I went to the rainforest once, and I saw for myself the people of the city. Times have changed. The people of Sumeru are happier and more free now than in the past. I thought about this as I stood at one of the tallest points in the city, gazing down at the streets below. Then I thought of you, Sino. You and I both wield the same power, yet the lives we lead could not be more different. Each Ba fragment of Hermanubis stands for something different. Might, glory, and one of many other secrets that have yet to be revealed. I once thought that the nature of our fragments must be what makes us so different from one another. But, maybe, it's that you've found your answer, and I am still searching for mine. I am more than just a warrior. I am my own person. Exactly. The name Hermanubis has left its mark on both of us, shaped the course of our lives. We are his vessels, and yet we are more besides. So show me your answer, Sino. Show me I can be more than my faith, more than the power I wield. Show me the person I can become! Bring it on! You've got what happened is searching for your answer.
fight's over, do you yield? <sighs> you won. Well then, looks like you found your answer. I give his glory to you. <sighs> I've seen that light. That is the light of our Lord, the great Hermanubis priest over all other priests. His spirit dwells within that lightning, and his will lives on. Once a warrior of Tynar, he emerged from the barren desert sands to serve the god-king Al-Akhmar. After the death of the god-king, Hermanubis gathered his followers and the Tynarian priests and led them to the city of Tule Tula. There, they founded the Temple of Silence. And from that day forth, we became stewards of all knowledge that survived from King Deshret's civilization. Barely a century passed before war ravaged the desert. One by one, Aramite leaders took up arms against each other in battles that would devour what little remained of their civilization. Only the wise city of Tule Tula was spared under the guiding hand of the Tynarians. But peace did not last. Coveting the knowledge of King Deshret, the beasts set their eyes on Tule Tula. The king of Gurabad laid siege to the city and ordered the sages to surrender to him the Temple of Silence as proof of his victory. The ruling elite colluded with their oppressors, betraying the temple so as to hold on to their rule over the city. They declared that the knowledge guarded by the temple was the true cause of corruption. These were dark days, and we faced enemies on all sides. Our Lord had long since exhausted his strength keeping the forbidden knowledge introduced by King Deshret at bay. To ensure the temple's continued survival, he broke his being into many pieces and began the ceremony of Hermanubis' legacy, bestowing his power upon his mortal followers. With this power, the temple was able to defeat the tyrant's army. Yet, we were not hailed as heroes. Strange and unfamiliar as this power was, it struck fear into the people's hearts and drove them to reject us. In the end, the people of the temple and the Tule Tula Tynarians left the city for good and made their way to the rainforest. What followed next was inevitable. The elite of Tule Tula fell and were decimated. War engulfed the desert. And we wandered from place to place, always in hiding, all the while keeping close watch over our secrets and staying true to our mission. Betrayal forced us out of the desert and into the forest. Then mistrust drove us from the forest into the desert once more. We have lived in exile for far, far too long. Yet, today, the Temple of Silence has borne witness to the glory of Hermanubis once more. Thank you.
is it? Do you feel okay? Grandfather. Hey, Sethos. You'll get through this. I know. I just... I'll miss him. I guess you were prepared for this. It's been a long time coming, huh? Yeah. Uh, he's... Been on death's door for a very long time now. I think it was only through sheer willpower that he managed to hold on to this point. At least, he was able to see this chapter come to a close before he passed. What's next for you? Per my grandfather's last wishes, the Temple of Silence should submit to whoever possesses the largest number of Hermanupus fragments. That entitles you to be our new leader, Sino. <sighs> but that's never going to work, as I'm sure you realize. I'm the General Mahamatra. I am needed back at the Academia. I did foresee this possibility, and I gave it some thought. The fact is, I know next to nothing about the staff, records, and environment here. As such, I am ill-suited to be your leader, Sethos. I believe the honor should go to you. Were it not for this duel, or indeed if you had other intentions, the Ba fragments would most likely be in your hands by now. I'm sure Ba Moon never meant for anyone but you to be his successor. <laughs> you really think so? I do. Still... I didn't think Bamoon looked very surprised by the final result. Perhaps he had an inkling that this would be the way things end. Well, in any case, since the Ba fragments are with me now, I guess I can call the shots. Sethos, I would like you to succeed Bamoon as the new leader of the Temple of Silence. You are more suited to the role than I, and I have complete faith that you will be an excellent leader. Just think of it as doing me a favor. Uh, but doesn't that render everything that we've been through up to now meaningless? <laughs> no, it doesn't. This experience has allowed us to become friends, which means that the Academia and the Temple of Silence will become partners once more. That's a much bigger deal than you might think, Sethos. You said yourself, times have changed. You have to believe that things can change for the better here at the temple, too. I will try. To be honest, I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Actually, part of me wonders whether Ba Moon's intentions from the very beginning was just to create enough pressure to force us towards a duel. That way, no matter who won, one of us would have to surrender our Ba Fragment, and the power of Hermanubis would be concentrated in one single person. Had you won, the Temple of Silence would have doubled its strength. And were I to win, he correctly anticipated that I wouldn't suddenly drop everything to become the leader of the Temple, much less integrate the Temple into the Academia by force. He knew that the Temple's future would depend not just on the guidance of Hermanubis, but the support of the Academia too. So he made it his responsibility to ensure his successor would be free from the burdens of the past. His plan meant that whoever ended up succeeding him, they would have an easier time interacting with the Academia. <laughs> with one single letter, he lured out the Professor. No matter what happened after that, it would result in a net benefit to the Temple. And here I thought the General Mahamatra wouldn't care for all these trivial details. You're absolutely right. Grandfather and I considered this from every angle. 
We had to find a way to mend our relationship with the Academia. In that sense, the right of duels was just a means to an end. Thank you for everything, Sino. As a gesture of our gratitude, to those that you and Lesser Lord Kusanali deem worthy, I will grant the honor of access to the Temple of Silence for their pursuit of knowledge. The Temple of Silence has a wealth of information on King Deshret's civilization, more than any other organization in existence today. In times when you need information that only we can provide, we will be here to support you. But you must be exceedingly careful with your selection of candidates, lest you lead humanity to repeat the same mistakes. By the way, Tainari, my grandfather was so happy to see you. You are a descendant of the Veluka Shuna, and we are the heirs to the will of Hermanubis. The story goes that King Deshret chose the sage Hermanubis from among the Tainarians and appointed him as his familiar. He went on to fight many valiant battles with his Tainarian companions. They always stood by each other, from the founding of the Temple of Silence to the fall of Tuleitula. The Tainarians who left Tuleitula joined their human counterparts in the rainforest. A few centuries later, when some of the group returned to the desert, Many of the Tainarians chose to stay and put down roots in the rainforest. In all likelihood, those were your ancestors. How fascinating. My father once mentioned that I was named after the Tainarians, but I never knew that my forebearers had such a history with the Temple of Silence. I like this story. Uh, by the way, has anyone seen Cyrus? Ah, uh, yes. Cyrus. You'll probably find him in my grandfather's room. He wouldn't show it in front of me, but I think he still has many fond memories of my grandfather. If it's true that you and your grandfather really planned for everything to turn out this way, then I guess he didn't really resent Cyrus as much as he appeared to. <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps all of us. You, me, and Cyrus. We're all just pawns in my grandfather's plan to set things straight. He was awful like that. Someone's got to make the decisions when history is at a crossroads. I will make a detailed report on all of this to Lesser Lord Kusanali, and arrange for an official delegation from the Academia to come and meet you in the desert. I'm sure you'll have lots to attend to in the days ahead. But once things return to normal, please come and visit the rainforest again. You should stay for a few days this time, and start to build some relationships. If we're going to work together, both sides have to get to know one another better. I will. All right, well, bye for now, everyone. I'll be seeing you. See you soon. Come hang out with us anytime. <laughs>